Yo, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to another video. And in today's video, I'm going to be showcasing, showcasing to you the power of Light Awaken. And as you can see, I have awakened all of the moves on my Light, on my light Fruit, and I've awakened all of them. So, yeah, in today's video, I'm going to be showcasing to you all of them and showing you how strong it can be. Alright guys, so the first move on Light Awakening is going to be called Divine Arrow and to awaken this move, you are going to be needing 500 fragments. As you can see, I'm pretty broke in fragments right now, but you need 500 to awaken this move. The first move you can awaken. And, let us see how much damage I can do. By the way, I have Santa Hat on as well, so I'm going to try to slow this down and show you guys perfectly, you know, how much damage it does. So let's see the first move. It looks really nice, like, it looks really nice, like, Look at this, it's really beautiful. And let's see how it's like. Wow, that nearly did like 2k damage. So yeah, there you go guys, that was the first move of Light Awakening. Alright guys, now time for Shining Flight. This is actually the second move, you don't really you know, do damage with it, it's just flight and it's really good. Because previously you couldn't control the flight, but now as you can see you can control it. You know, it's not like other like low gears where it's easier to control, but you know, it's really quick and beneficial. You know, it's really good, you can get places very easily. So, yeah, that's the second level of Light Awakening, guys, and that costs, I'm pretty sure, 1000 fragments. Alright, guys, now time for the third move on Light Awakening. This is gonna be called Swords of Judgment, and I'm pretty sure it's like 2000 fragments, 1500, I'm pretty sure it's 2000. But I'll check and if I'm wrong I'll put it up on the screen and this move is going to be you know, really nice and it's going to be looking like this That's going to be really hard to like count how much damage that is but if this does that much damage I'm pretty sure it does double so it probably nearly does like free probably like um 3.8k, probably like nearly 4k damage. So yeah, that's that move, guys. Alright, guys. Now time for the fourth move of Light Awakening. This move is gonna be called Light Speed Destroyer. It's gonna be your C move, and it's gonna be costing you 4,000 fragments to awaken. And it's really cool, but many people don't prefer this over the original um, um, non-awaken because um, it's, it's bad and it hits more enemies because this just hits one more enemies. It, it only hits one person, and yeah, I guess it's better for PvP. But uh, it's not really that good for farming. But here's how it looks like, guys. And I think it probably did around 3000 damage. Just a little bit more than the Z move. Now let's move on, guys, to the final move. Alright, guys, now the last move that I just awakened today. It's gonna be called Wrath of God. And to awaken this move, it's gonna be costing you 5000 and I only just use this move once but let's see how it looks like wow wow it did like half of his half of his HP probably like um, 5000 damage I think yeah, but I'll still be trying to slow that down and hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. You know, if you did, then make sure to like and subscribe and let me know what, what I should do in my next video. I'll probably be doing a superhuman showcase, but most likely I'm going to be doing a part 2 of my Nip Pro series. I'll give you a quick update. I'm on level 151. I'm about to go to Skypea, but I want to save a bit more money and wait until light is in stock again. Then I'm going to fight this. It'll be really easy for us to farm, guys. But anyway, again, if you enjoyed, then make sure to like and subscribe. Let me know what you do in my next video. And let me know what was the first was your favorite part of this video and yeah see you in the next video have a good day peace